Hey YouTube, it's Aldoin, and welcome to episode 6 of my Mass Effect Let's Play. Um, I'm gonna talk about a few things before I get started. This is the first episode I have recorded since last week's episodes, which were all recorded at one time. So this is the first chance I've been able to put into motion. Whatever. First time I've been able to do stuff based on what you guys have said. Uh, a lot of people were talking about the audio. That should be fixed. I'm using headphones. There's a reverse echo effect, that, so that should be fixed now. And I've redone my setup a little bit so that I'm a little louder. And you should be able to hear me over the conversations. Now tell me if you can't, and I will try to come up with another way to fix that. Um, other developments are that I am not recording this in 1080p HD because it's bigger and takes longer to upload and things like that. It still takes a while, but not nearly as long. I think it should still be in 720p. I'm not sure. I haven't seen it yet. Hopefully it is. And, um, sorry for the late upload today. I tried to do a 20 minute episode and it didn't work because it's too long. I have gone a little bit over 50 minutes last week, but I am not going to do that. Not very far, because that one was over 20 minutes, so that didn't work out. So I'm re recording this. It's actually after 7 o'clock my time now, which is when I'd like to get it up. And I'm going to continue. I actually deleted the save from that. There's a few other things we're going to talk about the talk about at the end of the episode, but for now, let's just get going. I'm going to give you guys a little tour of the Normandy. This is actually different than what I did last episode, because I went and talked to Joker, and when you talk to Joker, you immediately go to the next zone. So I'm just going to go um, up there and show you guys. So, bunch of crew here is where we would leave normally if we were on a planet and let's see. cockpit can't do anything yet but here's joker he's the pilot we come up here talk to him all the time that's the exit that reminds me of the exit on the evan hawk actually in nice of knights of the older public aha now i've menu 1.41 1.4.1 so that gave me a codex entry and a little bit of experience uh, i'm gonna show you guys the codex what button is that escape codex so this just primary. This has a ton of information on the story and the background information, like all the different races and creatures and government. There's a lot of politics stuff in here. So there's a bunch of stuff about the technology here. Everything in this primary roughly twelve hundred um, years ago tab the Turians is actually were invited fully voiced the as you can hear. To fulfill the, role of the secondary ones are just text. But they go into much more detail and things like that. Like here, it's talking about, this is normal jargon, most of this is typical navy stuff. CIC, anyways that'd be the CIC, Common Information Center. There's Presley, say hi, I'll say uh, hi to him later. And this is the galaxy map, can I open this? Let's just see. This is how we get places. Only the commanding officer may specify a destination for Normandy. That's right, Captain Anderson is still the commanding officer. Uh, let's see. This is the comm room. Don't go here very often. Oh, FTL comm link. Examine. More codex entries. There's actually an achievement for getting all the uh, important codex entries, but I've gotten that already, so. That was just the top deck. There's two more. Open, and down I go. Elevator to the bottom deck, and Ashley. I'll talk to them in a minute after I finish my little tour. There is Dr. Chakwas, who for some inexplicable reason is not in her med bay, which is strange. But this is the med bay, metal jail. Chakwas is usually in here. My personal locker, that is empty. Caden, this is actually where Caden usually is. I think he's usually farther back here. Ashley is usually on the bottom deck. Also on this deck is the commander's quarters. I'm not sure if I've ever actually been in here with Captain Anderson in there. Probably, but not very often. Back here are the escape pods, and that's it. The gunnery bay isn't there in Mass Effect 1. Pretty sure that's where it is in Mass Effect 2 though. And down to the bottom floor. Ah, 
Stop turning into things. And here's the bottom deck. It's basically the car cargo bay. The requisition officer can I actually buy hey, stuff yet. Okay, cool. Looking for some extra supplies before you head out? What have you got? This is basically the shop. Whatever you want. Where you can Armor, buy weapons, and sell stuff. Mods. There are it's others, but issue, you can get but special not stuff here. A bad thing. Well, as long as you don't mind paying for it. Why should I pay you for my weapons and armor? My stuff doesn't come from the Alliance. I have to purchase it myself, and it's not cheap. Hell, the licenses alone have set me back more than I'd like. Licenses are an no interesting licenses, mechanic no in this goods. game. Without the Everything goods, is I'm made by a certain uh, manufacturer, and you have to get the license for the manufacturer and buy it before this guy will um, Let's see what you've sell got. you stuff from them. You bet, Commander. Which is really interesting. Anyways, these, these top four are because I got an achievement for getting a million um, credits. And uh, they are pretty much the best weapons in the game. It's really hard to find one that's better. And then there's a bunch of other stuff. And that I will get immediately because that is awesome. And that was a meta jail upgrade that allows you to carry more. Which is very useful. And of course I don't have near enough money for anything else here. I can sell stuff. I'm going to sell some stuff. I'm not selling much here. I'm just selling the uh, base stuff. If I can remember what the base stuff is. Mm, keeping those. Keeping that. Keeping that. Keeping that. Uh, yeah, that's it for now. This is the Mako. Um, it's pretty infamous. It's really odd to drive. It feels really light stuff and bouncy, and you'll see later. After I finish the Citadel, I'll do a random planet or two, maybe. This is where Ashley usually is, just mentioning. There's a bunch of guns there. Uh, and the squad equipment, squad lockers. See, I can equip them here. And this might be a little bit of a spoiler. Like, not, I'm not a real spoiler, but the game kind of spoils you by telling you how many squad members you're going to have by giving you by showing you the amount of lockers because you will have six squad members and there are six lockers there this corner you don't go to very often none of your squad members end up here but random people occasionally do depending on where you are and here is the engineering bay with the uh, what do you call that what's well, the core ESO core element zero and engineer atoms. So, let's see. Oh, yep, I want zero core. Examine. Wait, did I miss it? I think I missed it. Yeah, I did. There we go. Element zero is the base basis for the max mass effect fields. It basically has like a negative gravitational. I don't know. That's not it. it I've never quite figured it out. It's kind of complicated. Anyways, I'm going to go talk to Ashley and Caden. And then I will probably land on the Citadel to finish, depending on how much time we have left. Because I want to talk about a few other things, too. So this is kind of a down episode. Sorry if you guys were expecting some more combat. Uh, I might get to some of that next I'm time. I'm glad you're okay, Commander. The crew could use some good news after what happened to Jenkins. When your number comes up, it's over. His did. That's grim, Commander. I guess I shouldn't be surprised, though. Not after Torfin. That must have been hell. Okay, I'm not going to say that. I did what I had to do. You'd better be willing to do the same. I won't let the Alliance down, sir. That wasn't too bad. That actually fit my character pretty well. Things were pretty rough down there. Are you okay? I've seen friends die before. It comes with being a Marine. I don't to actually come down here and talk to out. them very often before and I go to the Citadel. never get used to seeing dead civilians. But things would have been a lot worse if you hadn't have shown up. Dead marines, dead colonists, and in the end, we still didn't get that vegan. You saved a lot of lives, Commander. It might be hard to keep that in perspective with what happened to Jenkins. I'm not looking for a shoulder to cry on, Williams. Just stay focused on your job. Understood, sir. Renegade, plus two. Yay. Where's Caden? 
Glad to see you're okay, Commander. Oh, that's nice, Caden. You don't want to talk to me? Okay, I'll talk to you later, Caden. Yes, Commander. Is there something you need? How well do you know the lieutenant? Well, I'll, talk about, I'll just talk about mission. you behind your back then. But he How's has that? an impressive service record. Over a dozen special commendations. So that'd be things like the Bronze Star, himself, that kind of thing. Maybe because of the headaches. It's not easy being an L2. What does that have to do with it? Well, most biotics now use the L3 implants. Lieutenant Alenko was wired with the old L2 configuration. Sometimes there are complications. Anyways, uh, the origin of biotics is a little complicated. We'll talk about that a little more later. But basically, exposure to element zero when you're young allows you the ability to um, um, basically create mass effect fields with your brain. And the implants, uh, what's the word? Emphasize that? That's not the word I was looking for, but that works. But yeah. What kind of complications? Severe mental disabilities, we'll talk insanity, to Caden crippling later physical pain. About that kind of stuff. There's a long list of horrific side effects. Caden's lucky. He just gets migraines. Migraines can suck. What do you know about Captain Anderson? I've served with him for a few tours now. He knows when to let things slide and when to crack the whip. The crew knows he's seen pretty much anything they'll ever run into. And he cares Has he ever run into Geth before? Command. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. I should go. Uh, the thing about RPGs like this is um, leaving conversations tends to be really awkward, so you say the same thing all the time. Uh, there's like four or five different things he says to end random conversations, and they still end up being pretty repetitive. There's actually a uh, remix, I guess, on YouTube that has a bunch of things like that. I might link, put a link to it in the description. Uh, three minutes left. Yeah, I think I'm going to talk to you guys about a few things and then sign off. After I get back up here. Say hi to the galaxy map, because the galaxy map is awesome looking. Um, anyways. What was I going to say? No, oh, I've got enough time. I'll talk to Presley. I'm glad you're okay, Commander. <sighs> okay. Was hard enough well... Okay, here. Last week, a lot of people were talking about I wasn't talking as much as I'd like and as I should, I guess, and that there are a lot of dead spaces. So I thought this is not 100% sure at all, but I was thinking I may start having guest hosts, and if possible, I would love to do this. It's probably crazy ambitious. I'd, I'd like to get celebrity, not celebrity celebrity, but like gaming people that you, that you might know on the show, which would be pretty epic. Um, I'm on Twitter a lot, and I talk to, talk to some of them, so I might be able to do that. Anyways, uh, speaking of my Twitter, uh, it's Aldoin, twitter.com slash Aldoin, just like my YouTube is Aldoin. So, and I'm on it all the time, so if anyone wants to come on there and talk to me, I will. I would be very happy to do that. I'm, I have 98 followers. I'm really close to triple digits, so if you guys could help me push over that limit, that'd be awesome. Um, so about the guest host, uh, it won't be happening this week or n next week, probably, but I'll talk to some people, see if I can do that, and if you guys, if any of you guys might want a guest host, then uh, message me on YouTube and tell me what part you'd like to do and why you think you'd be a good fit and that kind of thing and I'll think about it. Uh, it's not nearly 100% sure even though I know there's not that many people watching yet. So I'll think about it. I'm just kind of throwing options out there, seeing what I can do and thinking about things. Just trying to figure out what will be best. And of course, um, as I get more experienced, I'll know what to say more and things like that. I'm just kind of wandering around, kind of bored. Do I have any skills to do? So, that's about it. Oh, um, if there's anyone in particular you'd like to see on the show, uh, tell me. And if you can, co contact them yourself about it. And um, I'll see about it. And see if I can get them to get on the show. Uh, so, I think that's about all for today. Thanks for watching. And next time, we will go on to the Citadel and see if we can expose Saren. Thank you. Goodbye, and thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.
And sorry it's so late again. But thanks for watching.